Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 9th of 2019. Well, it is titled M31, the Andromeda Galaxy. So what do we see here? Well, we see one of the most distant objects visible to the naked eye. And if you look towards the constellation of, the, of Andromeda and know the right area to look from a relatively dark site, you can see a small fuzzy patch on the sky. That patch is the Andromeda galaxy. And of course, seen in far more detail here, we can see that it is a great spiral galaxy much like our own. However, that is not something that we have always known. In fact, it was only less than 100 years ago that it was determined that the Andromeda galaxy was different and not just a spiral nebula and part of our own galaxy. And that was not until Edwin Hubble made deep measurements of it and was able to detect Cepheid variable stars within the nebula. Now Cepheid variables have a pulsation rate and change in brightness in a way that is related to their luminosity or how bright they are. So once we could determine their pulsational periods and identify them, we could then find their distances because if we know the luminosity of something, then we know we can figure out its distance how far away it must be to appear as faint as it actually does. And that was not done until the 1920s. So even a 100 years ago, it was a big debate among astronomers as to whether the spiral nebulae like Andromeda here were part of our own galaxy and just nebulae things like the Orion Nebula or if they were entire universes and other other in other words other galaxies outside of our own and it was Edwin Hubble who was able to settle that debate by detecting the variable stars here. Now as we look around this image we see a number of different things we do see of course a satellite galaxy of the Andromeda galaxy much as our Milky Way has things like the Magellanic clouds which are satellites down below you can see a satellite galaxy of the Andromeda galaxy and that would orbit around this uh, Andromeda much as and much as much as other galaxies or our, our satellite galaxies orbit around us or as stars orbit around the galaxy as well. Now we also see a number of stars within our galaxy and the most of the stars that we see here are actually part of our own galaxy and just happen to be in the same direction as Andromeda. But I want to draw your attention to two of them towards the top labeled here. And those are the uh, those, those, one of those is a very red star and the other is a very blue star. The colors of stars that we see tells us about the temperatures and it is a quick estimate of the temperature. The hotter a star is the shorter wavelengths it will emit and the bluer it will look. So the star on the right is a far blue is bluer and therefore much hotter than the star on the left that is very red. So we can look just looking at stars we can at least get a rough idea of temperatures. The redder a star looks in general the cooler it is and the bluer a star looks the hotter it is. So we get to see all of that within this nice image today of the Andromeda galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for September the 9th of 2019. It was titled M31 the Andromeda galaxy. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Pluto in true color. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.